Hi, I'm Joe with Running Warehouse. Today we're going to talk about the number one aspect you should look for when you're shopping for running shoes, and that's pronation control. By matching the correct amount of pronation control with your foot strike, we can minimize the chance of injuries down the road. Pronation occurs after your foot strikes the ground and through toe off. Pronation is the actual act of your arch collapsing. An excessive amount of collapse without the proper support can lead to overuse injuries. I'd like to explain three different tests that you can do in the comfort of your home to determine what type of pronation control is appropriate for you. The first is a wet foot test. Simply place your foot into a bucket of water, step onto a piece of cardboard or possibly a wooden floor, and then check the shape of your foot. If it is a high arch, it'll look like the image on the left, and that'll indicate a neutral type of shoe. An average footprint will be indicated in the middle here, and that type of shoe would be a support shoe. If your foot was flat-footed, it represents the image on the right, and you would be looking at a motion control shoe. The second type of test would be known as the wear test. Uh, most people land on the outside heel area of their shoe, which is why there's a high abrasion area in that portion of the shoe. So we don't look at that so much as we look at the forefoot area. If the wear is on the outside pinky area of the shoe, then that would indicate that you would need a neutral type of shoe. If it was in the center, then that would indicate you'd be looking at a support shoe. If it was underneath the big toe or the ball of the foot, that would indicate a motion control shoe. The third type of test that you can do is actually get on a treadmill and videotape yourself from behind. Uh, by looking at the movement of your foot when it, reach, when it contacts the ground, we can see if it overpronates or not. Uh, if you have any questions on this whatsoever, you're welcome to send your video into Running Warehouse and we can analyze it for you and give you our opinion on that. In the retail area of Running Warehouse, we organize the shoes in such a way that the neutral shoes are on the top of the wall, the support shoes are in the middle, and the motion control shoes are on the bottom. This is similar to the website. If you look at the top portion of the website, the neutral shoes will be listed. Below that will be the support shoes, and on the bottom will be motion control shoes. So, if you're looking at your test that we, conduct, that we talked about earlier, if you have a high arch and your wear pattern tends to be on the pinky side of the shoe, you'd be looking at neutral shoes which would be located at the top part of the website. If your wear pattern was in the middle of the forefoot area of the shoe and your arch was more of a normal height, we'd be looking at support shoes in the middle of the website. If you had a flat foot and your wear pattern was underneath the ball of your foot, you'd be looking at motion control shoes which are located on the bottom of the website. If you have any questions whatsoever about which type of shoe is appropriate for you, please feel free to email us or give us a call at any time.